All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the pro ages, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Hope you're staying safe, even for some of us that still have to go to work. Stay safe. All right, I'm going to give my two cents on Doom Eternal. Because the only thing I've got left to do in the campaign is get the 10 extra lives in extra life mode. Uh, I did everything else on just a regular playthrough. Uh, I've played some battle modes, so I'm going to talk about both sides of the game. And I've seen like mixed reviews of people talking about what they like and dislike. <clears throat> how, and I've seen in the, uh, some of the communities on PlayStation how they don't feel like this is a Doom game. Especially for platforming. So, here comes my opinion. It is probably the most Doom game we've had in a while. Now saying that, it wasn't as challenging as Doom 2016 in my opinion. Because some of the weapon mastery challenges felt easier. Uh, some of the key demons from the first game that are in this game, like the Revenant, the Kaka Demon, and even the Arachnatron that made its appearance in this game, they have weak points now, which with the Cacodemon, it's just one grenade in the mouth and glory kill Revenant, take away its rockets. Cacodem uh Mancubus, shoot off its gun plates. Arachnatron, shoot its gun turret. So it made it somewhat easier. The mastery challenges for the weapons were easier. Uh, they got rid of rune challenges or rune mastery but replaced it with like secret encounters and the slayer gate which in turn got you this the unmaker which is when you add infinite ammo cheat mods it is hilarious <laughs> Uh, in terms of playability and people complaining about platforming, saying it feels like a weak attempt at platforming and it feels too arcadey, it's meant to be fucking arcadey. It's meant to feel like an arcade game. It's not meant to be taken seriously. It's fucking doom. It's meant to be fun. Challenging yet fun. I didn't care about this whole extra life business. The platforming felt good. The monkey bars, the swinging, the dashing. It was a nice addition. Sword. I mean, look, you're even able to customize and go back to your good old early 90s Doom outfit. Along with a couple of others, I mean, I prefer the Sentinel outfit myself. I think that just looks very metal. <laughs> so, yeah, and, to, and if you find it too easy, just up the difficulty, stop saying, oh, I didn't like it, it wasn't challenging enough, up the difficulty. <clears throat> I like the idea of this hub where you can unlock and customise more stuff. Well, not, I mean, customise your cosmetics, but everything else, you just, like, there's extra Praetor tokens and rune shards in here, so... And plus, I like it. Nice little break in between missions. I thought I would like this mod a lot more, but I ended up using Sticky Bomb over everything else. So, yeah. Campaign. I mean, fun, but not as challenging. Uh, nice addition to platforming. Uh, Customizable. I mean, to make it even more Doom, as I said earlier, you've got your classic weapon sound pack and classic weapon pose. So look. Look at this.
this is amazing. How are people complaining and saying this isn't as doom as it should be? Wake the fuck up. So yeah, that's my two cents on the campaign and the gameplay of that. <coughs> as for battle mode, which I didn't have high hopes for to begin with, because I would have preferred to see traditional multiplayer back into it. <coughs> Uh, I've played, what, 20 games now? Won a few, lost a few. Got the controls at one point, remembered them. Yeah, it comes and goes. Uh, I've got a Weapon Expert trophy. I've still got to play five more matches to get that trophy. Uh, played with every demon, so I've got that trophy. I've got, like, two trophies left to get. And three in total for the actual whole game before I platinum it. But battle mode, uh, it's hit and miss because it doesn't feel that competitive as it should. Like there's no stats to say win loss, your KD ratio, none of that. So it's meant to feel more fun <coughs> than competitive, which means I can't take it seriously enough. So I'm just probably going to grind it for the trophies and then never touch it again. But one thing, I'll, a few things I will say that draw back from it because it is fun at times. Uh, people play with shit internet connections and cause severe lag issues. Uh, people go, or oh, PC term AFK, console term AFC, away from controller. That happens a lot. Uh, people quit if they're already losing by the first round, which is stupid. Yeah, here's my favourite outfit. Look at that. Excuse me, get up, there we go. Yeah, that's my favourite outfit of the game. So yeah, people use shit in their connections and cause severe lag issues. People disconnect when they're losing. But the main thing that I was worried about coming from Doom 2016's multiplayer has landed in battle mode already and it's not even a week old. And we've got some fucking cheats in the game. Example, uh, my 16th game. Uh, the Slayer at the time was using aimbot and wallbang because he was shooting through multiple walls with the ballista and hitting me on the other side of the map and obviously won and then when he was playing as the demon first round he summoned one demon three million damage and the other guy who was playing as a slayer for that he quit and then I looked at the stats and that's what it showed one demon summoned three million damage from demon summons Uh, the 18th game I played, there was one player, I was the Slayer, he was the Demon, the other Demon, I don't know if he was cheating or not, I don't know if they were friends or not, but the other, one of them had infinite loot block. Another one was invisible. So we've already got people that were cheating as badly as they could in Doom 2016, even up till a week before this game came out. Cheating just as badly here in battle mode, a game that is not really that competitive and shouldn't even require cheating. There are some sweaty fucking dirty cheating tryhards already in this game and it's not even a week old. So I think just for the best part of battle mode, because I see in the community some people asking for friends to join to boost the trophies, I'm just going to do that and then abandon battle mode entirely because it's already been plagued. And again, this is all on PS4. I don't know what it's like on PC or Xbox yet, but it's already plagued with cheats and people just lagging the hell out or just quitting or 
going AFK. It is battle mode is meant to be fun and can be fun, but it's not really for the time being with the way people are. I just hope that the DLC campaign that well the campaign DLC that comes out will make me want to return because after I've perfected it, I doubt I'll ever touch this again. I may just go back to Doom 2016 and finish off the last couple of uh, trophies I've got to get on that. And with that being said, that's my two cents on Doom. Campaign is great, very customizable, very Doom-like compared to what some people in the communities are saying. Battle mode is fucked. And with that being said, I shall see you all later.